some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we listen to the armed fisherman as he makes an impassioned plea toward his audience to forgive him for his trespasses and his DUI charges. But I don't buy it, and I'm sure none of you do either. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, oh, hey dude, look behind you. You need to get your green screen fixed or replaced. With the way it is right now, I'm pretty sure that the chroma key effect would look pretty shitty. Well, anyway... I'm uh, going to go ahead and get started. I really don't want to talk too long, but um, yes, everybody. I was arrested. Um, I was arrested in Nassau County, and I was arrested for a DUI. I know this is going to disappoint a lot of you. It disappoints me, and... To quote Senator Vreenak from Star Trek Deep Space Nine's episode, In a Pale Moonlight, No, not that line, that it's a fake. But the other line, the other better one, that my opinion of you is so low that you would have to work very hard just to disappoint me. Well, that's not the exact line, but I modified it for this situation. And that line pretty much fits all frauders in my opinion. I can't, there's no explanation. There's no justifying what has happened. There are a lot of things that internally that you will not know right now. There's a lot of things that are going to happen in the next few months. But what I am saying is I definitely was arrested for DUI and I am a man of integrity and I will always man up to the mistakes I've made. From what I've seen of you frauders since I've started watching you, I find that highly dubious at best. And from my own personal ex real life experiences of dealing with A, criminals, and B, alcoholics the combination of the two still does not inspire me with much confidence that you even hold up to that i've made a lot of mistakes in life but nothing like this i've never ever done something like this i've lived for 43 years and this is the first time this has ever happened to me um, I know people have been speculating about something about me tailgating fire fire trucks or something. Not the truth. But anyway, that all will come out later in time. I'm not going to um, talk about exactly what happened, but in a nutshell, I got arrested for a DUI. I will always man up to the mistakes that I made. This is a mistake that I made. Nobody was hurt. Yeah, sure. Nobody was hurt this time. But as somebody who's been a firefighter and first responder and have had to clean up body parts off the side of the road as a result of people like you, I find that comment highly frustrating. And a definite sign of no remorse for the situation. It is something I have heard time and time again until somebody does get killed. So please continue with your unremarkable statements. Um, nobody pulled me over. Um, I didn't wreck my car or anything like that. Nothing, nothing happened. Um, I was following, I was following a fire, I was following trucks in... I got to a police officer and I was like, hey man, can I go down this road? And that's where it all started. So for anybody that thinks that it was me tailgating fire trucks, farther from the truth. I was actually following them from about 100 yards. So there was no tailgating. I wasn't on their ass when I pulled up to the cop. Trust me. But anyway... That being said, I am very disappointed in myself. I'm sure a lot of you are probably disappointed in me. Um, uh, there's a lot of people I've disappointed and I will address each and one of those people individually and let them know that I am going to hold myself accountable 
for the mistake I made. Bullshit! Bullshit! Um, no. My past experiences with dealing with people like you says otherwise that you will inevitably end up blaming other people. So, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity. Um, I, I can't say, I can't say I, I am, I am so sorry for disappointing myself and you. And it's just, this is something that I didn't, it's, it was unexpected. I'll tell you that right now through the whole transition of events that day. Um, if you'll find out, um, you know, as all this transpires, I promise you, everybody, you will find out everything. You'll find out the truth. Um, I just can't speak about it too much here. All I can tell you is that, yes, I was arrested. Yes, I was arrested for a DUI and, um, I'm back home. I'm with my family. Um, I'm going to take the next couple days to figure out some stuff. Um, Punta Gorda is still going to go on. Um, I am not stopping from that. Uh, so I hope to see everybody there in Punta Gorda. Uh, but other than that, um, I need to get some sleep. I need to get some rest. And, um, and I, I'm truly sorry for disappointing all my f loyal f fans from this one mishap in life. Um, like I said, more will come out from this, but um, I, like I said, I am truly sorry. Of course, like I've said, I am highly dubious that he will even make any changes whatsoever, and he is not regretful. He is just sorry he got caught. <laughs>